Hello everyone! Um, so I guess this is going to be an impromptu vlog. I have a lot going on. Today's actually Christmas um, and I didn't vlog the entire day. I know it's 7 p.m. but I wanted to go ahead and do a little bit of like behind the scenes of Beauty by Jasmine Yin which is my small business. It was highly requested to just show you guys what goes on in my life um, but before I get into that I wanted to show you guys what I actually got for Christmas because why not? Oh well first and foremost I got this beanie my mom got it for me. It has the gift receipt in the back but I'm not going to return it because it's cute and it's lined on the inside so it's really furry. It retains in a lot of heat. My sister, she got me a lot of snacks. So she got me like ramune, she got me pickles because I like pickles, all of my favorite snacks and then a Swedish fish because she thought she would be funny. I actually hate Swedish fish um, but she got me two bags of these Doritos Dynamitas and these are my favorite chips like I was at Target with her the other day and I was uh, walking out the door and I was like oh my god I forgot my Doritos and so I guess um, yesterday she went to Target without me and that's what she got me so I'm really happy about that she got me a lot of other snacks like I mentioned but they're upstairs like she got me cereal Oreos um, things of that nature um, and then my mom she got me the beanie like I'm wearing here and she also got me some things from Sephora. She got me two things from Kaja. So I have a lipstick as well as the Bento. The Bento is in Spiked Ginger and the lipstick is in Baby Girl. Almost forgot because I was wearing these, but my sister got me these Uggs. I never have tried a pair of Uggs ever before. These are so comfortable. I didn't expect myself to like these. So thank you, Steffa. And the last gift are these shoes. These are from Aldo. These are so pretty. They're snakeskin print as well as iridescent from like pink to purple. Really, really cute. I love these so freaking much. I have a lot of snakeskin print in my collection as far as like clothing is concerned. It definitely reminds me of like second grade Jasmine because my mom actually used to style me in snake print way back when. Um, so this gives me like a nostalgic feeling. So I really really do like this. My dad, he had troubles trying to find things for me and my sister, but I was like, it's fine. You don't have to. My dad is a man of very few words. Love him. Um, but today was really, really fun. We just decided to cook all day today and we ended up eating seafood boil, which was so freaking delightful, so delicious. Um, so now I am going to go ahead and show you guys my messy desk. Now, this vanity is actually the one place that I work. I don't work in any other area in this house. This is like the one area where I feel like all of my creative juices flow. Um, so it is pretty messy, but I, you know what? I'm gonna be candid. I'm just gonna show you guys what's up. So, here is my desk. We got a lot of things going on here, but these are all of the nail sets that I finished. Now, by the time you guys are watching this video, I would have launched all of these, but my job right now is to take these to the little closet and to take pictures of them so that I could list it on my website. Um, everything else on my desk, I have my nail polishes that I use for the nails. I also have the UV lamp so that I could cure the nails, things of that nature, and then miscellaneous stuff from what I was doing earlier today so um, I was doing a little bit of my makeup so um, you know before and after I always disinfect the area so that um, my workstation is always clean but I just didn't have a chance to put the products away unfortunately it was just crazy today I also got two orders today, which was so surprising because I haven't gotten an order in a week. And as a matter of fact, December was my slowest month ever and I expected it to be pretty busy. So um, this was really, really exciting. This was kind of like a Christmas gift to myself, essentially. So I'm going to ship these out tomorrow. I need to print out the shipping label. Um, but I wanted to show you guys some of the nails that I made because I'm really, really proud of it. Um, so I hand make all of these myself. I am a one woman team so everything that I come out with usually I do a little bit of brainstorming I kind of do like 
like a general idea in my head and then I will just sit here for hours upon hours upon hours and I'll just do what my heart desires. So I have 12 Sailor Moon styles. I'm not going to show you all of them. I have a lot that are really, really funny. Some of them say bitch. Some of them say fuck. Like I just think they're so funny. And then I have a lot of restocks because, um, certain nail sets sell out faster than others. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the Sailor Moon nails that I made. This one is my personal favorite. Um, this one is the Style Justice. Now this one is just a simple white set and it has all of the Sailor Scouts. Now with my nails, you do get a variety of different sizes. So here are the additional sizes. And as you see, there are more Sailor Scouts. I just think it's really, really cute and I love the shorter design so I try to make it versatile like I have longer styles shorter styles um this one is I fight for love this one was interesting because I wanted to come out with a purple set I wanted to kind of have like a sailor saturn vibe to it um but I don't know I just feel like it's really dark I'm not 100% sure on this I feel like it looks really nice especially because I decorated it with Sailor Saturn and Mercury and there's like a lot of holographic glitters and there's more Sailor Scouts on here so I thought you know what I like it it's just the color purple itself on nails to me is just not my personal taste not my personal favorite um but then the last sailor moon collection nail i wanted to show you was winning love and this one's super cute it's like super girly super short also very minimal um so this one is just a short baby pink set with sailor mini moon and then on the bottom you do get more like of the hearts designs as well as mini moon as well um so really cute oh my god my friend from college just purchased something from my website oh my god are you serious are you serious sean if you are watching this uh, thank you. I appreciate you. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna pack that up. Ugh. I made these ones last night. These are some long stilettos. They are a sheer gold with the LV metallic imprint on them. Really cute. Again, simple, but I feel like when you're up close, you're just like, oh. Does, does that say LV? I love that. Um, and then I have here some butterfly nails because butterfly nails are the ones that do sell out pretty fast for me. So I have here some monarch nails. These are a purple glitter base. It is a sheer base and there are purple butterflies on them. There are different varieties with the monarch style. So I have different shapes and then different types of purple butterflies. This nail set is called Sunny and this took me <laughs> literally four days to do it doesn't look like i spent four days on it but listen it took the longest out of all of the nails that i am showing you because these are encapsulated flowers and i kid you not like this was the hardest to work with so it's a short yellow nail and it has some small glitter particles in there and the encapsulated flowers so it's really simple it's really cute if you are like earthy if you are like puffle puffy I think you'll really like this and I was really trying to focus on coming out with more duos and trios because quite honestly I feel like I don't meet my personal goals of creating more of them so I wanted to show you guys the three larger boxes that I did make um, so I have here called in the zone um, the top one here is a monarch uh, orangey creamsicle type of nail set and then the bottom are the rhinestones but I made the rhinestones look like flowers so it's kind of springy it's very bright very inviting and I feel like a lot of people really love this type of clear holographic glitter nail those are another bestseller of mine I just feel like sometimes they um, take a long time to make because I try and make the holographic glitters as as nice and dispersed as possible. The next one that I have here is for the person who just loves nude nails. These are just three different shapes and three different shades of nude nails. They're all matte and it is the matte nude trio. 
pretty nice, pretty simple. I love this because I am that type of person who likes to keep my nails as simple as possible. Go figure, I am not wearing my press on nails right now, but that's because I literally made 40 nail sets. And finally, I have the All About Pink Trio, so a variety of different sizes. Up on top here is that holographic glitter, but then they have pink rhinestones on it. There's a hot pink as well as a baby pink with some holographic hearts on them. I thought that was pretty cute. So what I'm going to do is I am going to transfer all of these boxes into <laughs> this laundry bin so that I could take it to the closet so that I could take pictures of these nails. Now I am going to take the pictures with the camera that I am using to film, but I am going to film like a behind the scenes um, with my phone so that you guys can kind of see like what I do personally. Now, if you were wondering about the backstory of my business, I was actually doing press on nails when I was in college. I currently have graduated college. My degree was in business. So, I mean, not too far off from what I'm doing, right? So during my second year of college, I was doing them on myself because I wanted to get back into an older hobby of mine. I always had done my nails in middle school to high school and then I completely stopped in college. Um, so I wanted to get back into it and when I did, I realized it did take a lot of time out of my day um, so I actually just waited until I graduated college of course I wanted to create like a cosmetics brand but I just felt like the beauty community was already too saturated and I wanted to do something that was more personal so I just decided to come out with my own handmade press on nail shop now it wasn't like I just opened up a website and just started to sell. I started to sell on Etsy. And when you do sell on Etsy, you are protected, um, especially because they have a lot of other small businesses. You don't necessarily have to have a business license in order to sell on Etsy, which is nice. But once you start creating a website of your own and start selling on that website, you do have to have a business license. Well, at least in California you do. So I took it upon myself to take all of my knowledge that I learned in business law and I literally went and I signed to have my fictitious business name and so that was how Beauty by Jasmine Yin was born. I just did the necessary steps. I think every city and every state is different, so I can't really go fully in depth. And also, I don't fully remember all 100% of the steps because I was guided with um, the members of like the city, city council um, to help me. So I just know that I had to, um, make sure that my business name was not taken. Um, I also had to publicize my business name in the newspaper for four weeks. And once that was completed, then my business name was then mine. There were a lot of fees that I did have to pay in order to have that business name, which I was totally fine with. As far as creating my own website, I think that was pretty easy for me because I just ended up using Big Cartel. You can use Shopify, there are so many other um, website builders on the market but I just decided to go for Big Cartel because I noticed that it was the cheapest. Now I do see like pros and cons with Big Cartel but for the most part I feel like it's more convenient towards me because they don't take off as many fees when somebody purchases from your website. I was talking to my mom yesterday about this and she was like, why don't you get your bachelor's in business? And quite honestly, I didn't feel like getting my bachelor's because I don't like going to school. I am a straight A student and that's not me bragging, but it's just the fact that I know I'm good at school. It's just that I hate it. It actually makes my depression a lot worse. I actually don't like it whatsoever. But I told her it's about what you can put on the table. It's about what you could do in the business world. You don't need a degree to become an entrepreneur. You just need to know the right steps to make your business successful. And she just looked at me and she was like, yeah, you're right. Um, so I just feel like if you want to start your business, you definitely can. You don't need a degree like I mentioned. That's what an entrepreneur is. Um, so just do it, but do it legally. <laughs> 
Um, and just make sure you sanitize. Um, I know, I, I feel like that's a really weird thing to add on, but you know, it's, it's really hard, especially because um, you never know, especially like with handmade things. Um, so like I said, I always sanitize. I Lysol and Clorox, all, like my desk constantly. It's just that today, um, was just the day where I just cluttered my desk after I had put everything in boxes. Um, but what I also do is I have a UV sterilizer in my room that I mentioned in my last video, and I will just sanitize everything via UV light. Okay, so I am gonna go into the little closet area. We have a little storage room in the house, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys um, what I am going to do with my products. This is a station that my sister and I use. My sister is a lash tech, and sometimes she does ship out some lashes to um, anybody who wants to purchase them. So we do have a Rolo printer. This one was really weird to get used to, but you know, once you get used to it, it's totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to place my products in this little light box, and I'm gonna show you guys what we do. So on top there, you do see some of the backdrop colors. Um, so we have just like white, black, and I think that's a yellow one. Um, so let's see. Let's find the opening here. My sister and I love to use like these sage leaves and lavender leaves. These are just fake. And then you want to just turn on the switch and the light will come on. I know, super, super bright. Um, and then I will just take the photos with the camera that I am filming on. Definitely being your own boss does have its struggles. You know, I'm in charge of the marketing, the photos, the videos, the advertisements, everything, even making the nails, of course. Um, so it is very difficult being a one-person team, but ultimately I do think it is worth it and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I love what I do through and through, which is why it doesn't feel like work. Yes, I made 40 nails, but also at the same time, it was fun doing it and I think that's what a job should be. And I do think that is what is the key to running your own business it should just be fun it shouldn't be super stressful there are days where it's more stressful than others but I mean that's just how it is that's just how life goes um, and before I go I wanted to just mention a couple of things I know that this vlog was super short sweet and simple a lot of you guys just want to see you know what I do day to day and this is what I do day to day and sometimes I feel like it's just so fast paced that I don't have time to pick up a camera but since today is Christmas you know I decided to do it um, but yeah before I go I wanted to mention that I do have a giveaway going on right now I do have a Google Forms link that you can click in the description box below and all of the rules are down there. It's going to end on the last day of December. Alongside the last day of December, I do have a sale that's currently going on on my website. It's the end of the year sale. Um, so you guys have a choice between two different codes. Um, one of them is $5 off any three nail set. You can use the code five off on my website. Or if you guys want a complimentary nail set with an order of 75 plus dollars and free shipping you guys can use the code gifted i love that sale so much so many of you guys have been uh really getting into it thank you to my friend again sean thank you so much for placing your order as well as the other two ladies who placed their order i really do appreciate it it really did make my christmas so much better and the last announcement, of course, are these press-on nails that I'm photographing right now. If you guys want to shop them, they should be up on my website as you see this video. So definitely don't forget to check out some amazing nails. Um, again, there's 40 different styles for you to choose from in this launch. So I hope you guys all really enjoy. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to this vlog and to, you know, just seeing what I do day to day. I know it's pretty hectic. Alongside this, you know, I film my normal YouTube videos. Videos. I no longer go to school, but I am still working as far as like being a makeup artist is concerned. So I do like the fact that all three jobs that I am doing are all within my own time. You know, I am on a very flexible schedule. So it can be difficult when it comes to time management, but I'm pretty good at, you know, making time for things and not feeling super stressed out about deadlines. So um, that's all I really have to say. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have any questions about my small business, I'll be happy to answer them down below. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.